Right, friends? Are we ready? It's uh, Champions League final time. I'm suited and raring to go. My fancy tie here and... I mean, I couldn't find the flower, so I put a bit of dill in there. Because why not? I do love dill, so it fits, right? <coughs> Roll the anthem! Welcome back indeed. It's Champions League final time. Uh, season finale. Might even be series finale. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but We shall see. We still have that darn big ear trophy to win. And we must win it. Um, but I start you off on this screen. Because let's see how we actually got here. You know what I mean, Group stages were of course a doddle. For most of the big teams. right? Um, then we smashed Milan. 7-2 on aggregate. 5-1 on versus Zebra. 5-3 versus Chelsea, and now we are here. What about City, though? So in the semis, they beat United 3-2. That's actually very close, but yeah, tight affair, innit? Uh, they did beat Liverpool as well, it's pretty funny. So they knocked out all the English teams. Um, and in the first round, they beat Inter Milan. So definitely going to be difficult. I mean, if we take a look at the City squad, you know, Martinez, they have this guy, Orsolini, who's not super impressive, but randomly plays well, I think. Of course, David Alaba, which I tried to sign, um, what feels like ages ago. But, oh, they have a very, very strong team. So, yeah, it is definitely not going to be easy. So, we'll give it our best shot. But before that, let's take a look at our squad. Because our squad is pretty darn good, too. I mean, if you, if you sort by the star ratings, it is pretty, pretty snazzy, right? The... The worst one, one of the worst ones now is actually Lionel Messi on four stars, would you believe it? Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's still pretty good, uh, right? Slightly good. But yeah, obviously his, me uh, his physicals are going to go down and down and down and down. But I mean, if I was to play on, I would, I would just keep him here forever until he eventually retires. Um, but yeah, next season, if I do one, he's not going to be a starter or anything. Like, he was kind of get getting, getting weaned out this season, but... At the end of the season, actually, in the Spanish Furnish Division, I noticed that he was uh, <coughs> he was up there in the scoring. So I actually kind of started playing him a little bit more just to get him a last like top scorer award, which he did get. 26 goals in, yeah, well, you can see there, 28 appearances, 7 off the bench. So he took a bit of a back step this season, but, I mean, he's just amazing, right? And Papa with 22, noise, Holland, 18. So we were pretty... Well represented up there. Expected goals, actually. Holland is number one, which is interesting as well. <coughs> so, yeah, penalties actually 10 out of 11 from Messi. Mm, some things uh, never change. Well, except that we actually, he actually scored them for a change. Um, yeah, that kind of leads me to something very, very interesting and something I really love about this particular season is the goals. If you see here, like in across all this. Um, Competitions. Mbappe has 33, same with Holland, then Messi on 30. Trincao as well on 13, which is pretty good considering he's been a bit injured here and there and been rotated. And Delict with 9, also very interesting. Sancho as well, 9. So we're getting a lot of goals out of random people. I say random, but like even Trent has 5 goals, right? That, which is pretty darn good for a left back. Uh, sorry, a right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> take a look at the average ratings as well. I mean, 7.85 over how many matches is that 49 total right from messi i mean that is ridiculous right but yeah that does happen when you let's see win matches like six nil seven nil five nil of course which we saw saw in the last episode uh two nil last one so as you can see as well we're on pretty good form coming leading into this final uh so definitely hopeful um i will say one transfer that I actually have made already is Mr. Jude Bellingham. I mean, we already have a bit of an English quota going on right now. And uh, I have a feeling we're going to need a midfielder. <clears throat> so Jude Bellingham in the van, 92 million. I just activated the clause. I mean, I have so much money that, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And the only place I can see us uh, not strengthening the squad, but doing a bit of replacement is uh, in the midfield where Frankie de Young is now 26. Uh, as I can, if I can actually click him, 26 years old, um, but he just turned to 
twenty six actually, but lots of interest from all sorts, right? And Manchester United keep talking talking about him basically. So they're definitely gonna bid. And I'm thinking we might have to let let him go. I mean, I, I love him, but you know, for the for the good of his career or for the good of our team, revitalizing it with more youth. Um might be a might be a ticket there. And of course in, in the same sense, Mr Pianis needs to go, but no one will ever get him. No one will ever buy him, so we'll see. Right, well, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at this squad we're playing today in this humongously important match. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I would say. Luckily, I rotated loads during the uh, three last matches, so everyone is fit and raring to go. Well, except Finkau, who's still slightly injured. He's on the bench, though. He can play if absolutely necessary, but yeah. Donnarum and goal. Trent on right back. De Ligt, Garcia on center back. Weindel on the left. I could play. Weindel has lost half a star randomly. I'm not quite sure his performance have probably dropped a little bit. But yeah, 16 tackling is what I want versus City, right? Instead of playing someone like uh, Nuno Mendes, who is just well, he's just fast, really. And you know, he has room to grow, definitely. But like versus City, I'm gonna play Weindel because of his tackling ability. And uh, yeah, they perform very similarly, to be fair. But then Weindel is just a little bit better defensively, is what I'm thinking. Uh, in front of them is Kamavinga and the young, I mean, world class, right? Sancho gets the start because, like I said, uh, Trincao is, well, still injured. I could start Messi out here on the right and then put Petri in the middle, but it's also kind of because Messi, you know, he's being a bit slow and, like, I don't know if he fits the right wing any longer. I mean, he's still world class, obviously, but, like, I just want him to sit in there as a Trecotista, just sit there. Don't move, just sit there, distribute and do all that. So it's more to accommodate Messi than it is to accommodate, let's say, Sancho. But Sancho has already also been playing well, so I don't have any quarrels with putting Sancho on the right. And Mbappe on the left, who's just a beast, isn't he? And then Holland up front. And there, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the bench looks big and, like, uh, well, a bit injured. But, of course, the sad bit of is that Moriba has been injured for so long that, yeah... Haven't been able to play him. What's the last one? Yeah. Four months current injury. Oof. <laughs> really, really sucks. So he's also, I'm, he's the one who's going to take over from De Jong. So actually, if I even do, do buy Mr. Bellingham, Bellingham will probably be the, the, the reserve, so to speak. But as you know, I love to rotate. So everyone gets lots of chances to play. Except apparently Harvey Elliott. Don't, don't tell him. <laughs> and also De La Fuente, who was just rotting in the B team, as you remember. But he's here now. He's here now. Don't worry. I tried to make him happy. And uh, I mean, maybe even he'll get some game time in a bloody Champions League final. I mean, that would be probably worth the whole season being a waste, right? Anywho, let's get into it. Right. Team talk. Team talk. Needs to be a good one. I mean, this one is uh, pretty straightforward, right? Special day for the supporters. Go make them happy. They don't seem to care a lot, but let's pump some fists at them and see if we can if we can turn them around. And then we shall take a look at the City squad doing this, because I need to do this anyway. So they have Martinez up front, then it's Sterling Silva. That is pretty scary, but see, that's why I wanted Weindel as a left back, right? Because, well, they're going to play either Silva or Sterling up there, and they're pretty good. So having a more defensive-minded is probably good. I'm going to do some hard tackling on the back, uh, full backs at least, and also on, well, pretty much everyone who's a little bit creative. Just get stuck in. Kill them. I mean, not, not really kill them, but, <clears throat> you know. Right, as they walk out, I have now put on, we need our fans to help. I mean, it worked very well the last time we were in the Champions League final, right? Of course, City are ooh, super tackle from Kamavinga. To Mbappe, we're gonna get the perfect start oh, off the post, Holland. Uh, good start though. Good intent from Kamavinga, especially winning the ball like that. Um, of course, City are pretty much our bogey team when it comes to the Champions League. They've now, well, they knocked us out in the first season, and then the second season they beat us in the final, and now we are here again, once again in the final. Uh, so yeah, anything can happen. Which is obviously scary in these one-off matches, but as uh, City are now coming forward with Declan Rice, let's just shoot from there, right? Oh, not De Bruyne, no, I, don't, I don't want that. Are we going to win the ball back? Oof. I mean, they're, they're playing very Barca-esque, aren't they? Well, they're there, the former Real Madrid man, of course, but oof, amazing save from Donnarumma, who's been, well, 
it's just amazing. Corner from De Bruyne. I mean, yeah, if you want to... I mean, it's just the obvious choice, right? And I don't think this season has been a bit short on like, goalkeeping talents. I think um, many other FMs, as they're still coming forward, you have so many wonder kits you can buy for the goalkeeper. I don't think that that's the case in this one. So, like, Donnarumma was basically the only chance. Oh, Mbappe is completely open. Yeah, Mbappe. Alaba apparently was to blame for that one. Okay, focus, lads. Focus. Let's see it again. It was a bit out of nowhere. But yeah, Alaba misses the header, and then Sancho gets to actually exist. Nice hold-up play from Holland as well. Just muscles the defender away. Ooh. Okay, good start, lads. Of course, I can't actually remember what happened in the last final. Maybe we should have checked that, but... Other than the fact that we lost, so... I think we were... Probably a bit dominated in those ones. I feel like we were dominated by City a few times, so. But this time, we are apparently dominated. I mean, our team has really, really grown to the occasion, haven't they? Well, half time. That was pretty boring for the first half, but... Uh, let's say... Guard against complacency. And then I'm going to say I'm actually impressed with stuff. Because we don't want to start slacking off now. But also we don't want to ruin morale. As the fans are going absolutely mental. They're loving it. Okay, a chance for us again. Trent to Sancho. He's going to cross the ball. Oh, that was a sneaky cross. Trent to Mbappe. 2-0, lads. Kiss the deal. Yes, yes. It actually, I can smell it from here. And th by the way, this is homegrown. We uh, we uh, we live on a homestead, so we grow our own bill am amongst other things. Great, great little cross from Trent, and then just first time finish. Is it Ed Edison in goal? Yeah. Don't have time to react. Okay, focus, lad. Focus. It's not over yet. Sixty minutes gone. Thinking about making some changes soon. Uh, what should we do? Yeah, 70 minutes gone. I'll definitely make a change. Yep, there we go. Who should we put on? Holland's not having a great game, so I'm going to put Mbappe up front. Also, he's so fast, right? On the counter. And then Fatty on the left. Yes, that's the only change I'm going to make for now. Ignore. And then... Can I focus! Focus, lads! Come on! Okay, they have Edward up front, so they're definitely not going to score goals. I know that because I have Edward in my Twitch save. Link in the description uh, at, at Spurs. De Jong is... Uh, Messi's also struggling a little bit. Let's get Petri on for Messi. I know that's probably risky, but... Mm, I mean, 10 minutes left. Oh, no, don't... Did I just ruin... Ooh, off the bar. Uh, it was upside anyways. The linesman was doing all sorts. Okay, pause. Five minutes left, lads. Five minutes left. What should we do? Let's do it. I, 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 I teased it. Let's give him the last minutes in the Champions League final. Mr. Conrad de la Fuente. Go impress me, lads. Are we doing it? Woo! We actually finally, finally did it. Yeah, congratulations lads, that's some like fist pumping and all sorts, actually I'm just shaking the hands. Beautiful, beautiful game. Okay, post-match, let's just see that. Dressing room, congratulations. Yes, enjoy these moments. This is what stuff is made of or something, I'm not quite sure. Delighted for everyone involved, absolutely. And here we go. 2-0 win! Finally, some redemption versus City. Absolutely world class. Where's the. There we go. The stats. I mean, we pretty dom dominant in that one, I would say. Great, great performance from the lads. Lionel Messi's lived the dream of many supporters as he lifted the Champions League Cup. He absolutely did. And now he can become a bit of a bit of a super sub I guess um, as all sorts of news is flooding in of course um, yeah medals for the cup yeah where is he Conrad de la Fuente gets his medal and randomly Wisdom Egbo gets a medal I mean he didn't play I mean, ooh. I mean the arrow suggests he's uh, well, well, yeah quite the talent any random regen well done what's 
this is the Champions League stats. So Mbappe, 11 goals. That is quite. Was he the goal scorer then? He was indeed the goal, a top goal scorer ahead of Martial and Neymar. So he actually won it though, because he scored both goals, right? Well done. Assist 7 for Messi. Clean sheets? Well, we'll take it. It's just here between me, well, Donnarumma, and Stegen. Yellow card, we also won that one, which is very important. Mr. Camavinga likes getting stuck in there. Oh, I can't believe how... Oh, I can't just stress how happy I am that we actually won that. I was worried. Okay, fans, thank you for the support. But you can now... You can politely STFU, um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all, and you love me now that I have won you the Champions League. So, <sighs> thanks for watching, but yeah, like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to continue this. I have some other things I kind of want to do, but I'm going to keep this in the back burner. I'm going to go through all the presets and stuff, and I'm still going to pretend like I'm going to just keep playing this, but I'll probably start recording something else. So... Keep an eye out for that because, yeah, that one is going to be super fun, I think. But then maybe I'll come back to this one and then start proper going ham on, like, the talents. Let's say just sell all the real players, for instance, and then only use regions or something and only use academy players and just fill your academy with uh, new regions or something. That could be super interesting because, as you can see, oh, finances, for instance, I have a quite a bit of money. So imagine selling Mbappe, Holland, and everyone. Uh, that could be fun. I mean, right now I have 12, I'm 12 million in debt, but my transfer budget is, well, 130 million more than that. So, what's the projection? Okay, next season we're also going to be in the red, but we don't care. We don't care. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this finale, at least the season finale. Let's see if it's also the series finale, but yeah. From Are You Crazy Here? And I definitely am crazy. Thank you so much for watching and... Uh, until next time, don't forget to comment and subscribe and like and all that jazz. And, and comment if you're happy that we finally did it. We stole the victory from the mugs of City. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time. Ciao!